Hello and welcome my Piscean Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Welcome to your seven card draw. What do I need shadow read for this past of full moon in Capricorn, waning to new in Cancer? I am your Pisces moon reader, Mark Angelo Lyons, Mal for short. Professional witch, professional intuitive president of Drawing the Circle Production since 1998. The Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions, but you could call me Mal. How you doing, my fish family? Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, just when you thought your chance had passed, I went and saved the best for last, as I always do. Uh, happy to be reading. Did some traveling last week. Took me a while to get caught up with everything back at the house and on YouTube and just everywhere else. Uh, clients and emergency phone calls and whatever. I am a professional witch and I'm a lot of people's personal witch, right? It's like I'm the one that they turn to uh, and uh, that's why I'm very glad uh, to be sitting again here at my dining room table with my decks ready to rock and roll. Let's talk about this, shall we? We're doing a seven card draw in case you're new to the concept. Uh, one card from seven different decks of cards. This time we're doing two healing systems two uh, tarot decks and three oracles to get you the clues, tips, and hints that we all need during a waning moon period. We're looking at a specific timeline. Like I said, this full moon passed in Capricorn, June 24th. Uh, and then the waning moon, the shrinking, the releasing, the letting go, the forgiving, the transforming, the alchemizing, however you want to read that, uh, to the new moon in uh, Cancer on Friday, July Ninth. Um, so it's, uh, I love doing these readings. They don't get as much uh, numbers as, oh, I don't know, the true love and the soulmate contract reads. I'm starting soulmate contract reads today, hopefully to be out tomorrow and throughout uh, the week. Um, but these are really essential. This is about the work that you do within you, right? Letting go for the waning and building up uh, for the waxing reads. So, you know, it's a general read. You already know the rules to YouTube readings, particularly if you're following me, because I've said it 10 billion times, but all uh, that I can ask otherwise, particularly for my uh, beloved intuitive Murr family, my Piscean and fishy family, both feet on the floor if you can. If you can't, it's fine, don't worry about it, but you can focus on your breath, if you will, if you choose. Uh, to be here in the now so that you can really take what resonates and not be all up here, but to be here, right? <sighs> that dealio. Otherwise, um, all the decks that I read are always in the bottom of the description box uh, with lots of lovely links on the way down there for your uh, education. My book, the links to my book on Kindle. Uh, words of Grace from a Professional, which is down there, as well as how to book me for a personal read. But you know, if you want to book me for a personal read, I get so much spam on my Gmail account. It's just how it is. Uh, and it takes me forever to sort through and find who are the actual clients and who are the absolute spam, right? Because uh, sometimes they're going on my website and submitting them, so i got to go through each one. Better to find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, my deets are in the description box below, as always. And uh, I've been doing uh, Zoom readings, which are fine. Like, I subscribe to Zoom uh, so that uh, so that I can record them and send people the links if they don't have Zoom. But I've got to tell you, the best quality, though it's not recordable, uh, is on a Facebook video call. I've been loving that now, doing clients that way. Really, really fun for me. And uh, certainly, if there's anything you want to go deeper into here, now you know how. Ready? I'm done explaining. Are you done explaining? I think you're done explaining, too, because we're all one. <laughs> Breathe. Ah, last reading of the series. Here we go. My collective pantheons of angels, archangels, goddesses, gods, ascended masters, and the higher selves of all involved. Please, I need one card in clarity. The eighth chakra dynamic using the Carolyn Mace archetype cards, our first of two healing systems. What is the dominant archetype in play in the eighth chakra of the Piscean Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video? Receiving this reading, whether it's their archetype for a reason, a season, or a lifetime, everything it's, it's influencing everything below the eighth chakra, which is the standard seven chakra system, please. So it could be a situation they're dealing with or a person that they're dealing with, but the lesson is certainly theirs to learn in the alchemy for them to do this past full moon in Capricorn. I, I feel you waxing to new in Cancer. Oh, <laughs> well, you already know what it is. 
and I congratulate you on your bravery for clicking on this reading. You knew before I did in some timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly way. You got the addict archetype. Now, I could spend days talking about this because everybody has their addictions, right? Uh, there's so, I mean, I've studied addiction so much. I'm not going to say I'm addiction-free, but my first real encounter with um, at least reading about addiction came from the Handbook for, uh, for Higher Consciousness by Ken Keyes. We're going back to the 80s, right, when I read that at least. Uh, and he said the difference between an addiction is a, and a preference, a preference if you don't get it, you're all right. right? An addiction, however, is a preference that if you don't get it, you go into distress. All right, simple, but not easy. Uh, and certainly the addict archetype being a wild card family archetype. There are nine families. This is the wild card family. This could be you. Again, we all have them. I grew up with lawyers and teachers in the family. They get very addicted to being right, which really diffused me of that, right? So even being around certain... Um, addictive types, personalities, they're not, it's not all about drugs and alcohol, right? What about food? People with food addiction, it's like you gotta eat, right? Codependency, any of that. The, the spectrum is so huge of what that can be. Some people are addicted to attention, right? And, and the biochemical uh, reactions of our emotions. Every emotion has an instant biochemical and biophysical reaction within your body that we can be addicted to. Like, that explains sex addiction right? The, just the, the hormonal changes. And there are people, certainly, who can get chemically addicted to even depression, right? So if we can take the stigma out of this and get what the true spiritual power, because the spiritual power, as toxic as any archetype sounds in its shadow, the lead, the toxic, is as brilliant as the gold and as healthy as the gold is. So even like the lover archetype, everybody wants the lover archetype. But in the shadow, in the lead, the lever is key in cars, right? You know, it's just really bad fatal attraction, right? So let me read you the definitions here for the shadow, the lead, which has three more atoms than gold uh, on the periodic table. Hence alchemy, right? Getting rid of, transforming those three uh, from an insulator, toxic lead, to a conductor, healthy gold. The shadow attribute compromises integrity and honesty. <laughs> we could stop right there. How do you know an addict is, is lying? Their lips are moving. Uh, allows an addictive pattern to have authority over your inner spirit. And that's when you know inside of you. It's like, this is not right for me, but I can't stop myself. Now, we've all been there, right? Compu you don't know how many compulsive liars I've dated. And it really put me in touch with how vital honesty and truth is, but it has to start with me. And that's what we're looking at here in the light attribute helps you recognize and confront addictive behavior. Now, I have this video on YouTube. It used to only be on Vimeo. It's a two hour lecture called Vampires and Witches. And it has a lot to do with codependency and addiction because it's sourcing this way instead of this way. And yeah, we could do both, but when you're plugged in this way, right, uh, vertically, then you don't need to drain other people. Your whole, we're all born whole and complete. That's the truth of the immortal soul of who we are. But, you know, conditioning, like clouds in front of the sun gets in the way and we forget that. So we start looking for false idols on the outside to fill what is already full, but we don't see it. Powerful. I mean, look, after this past year or so, you haven't gotten in touch with some of the shadow work, right? Those, those voices inside of you starving for certain things, though it may seem like it's for an external thing. It's often the love that we give ourselves that heals that little by little by little, right? It's okay to want that, honey, but it's not our healthiest choice. Like inner child work, good example. All right, I can't help it. I'm a spiritual teacher, first and foremost. Though I've been reading tarot since I'm 12 and I'm 52. <laughs> I know I don't look at thank you. That just makes me laugh. I hope it makes you laugh too. We're gonna do the healing with the angels oracle. Who are the angels that you can call upon here to help you with this alchemy? Because if this is somebody else, look, you're a water sign. You're gonna feel this in some way, shape, or form. Breathe. Yes, 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 as I call upon my angels and archangels of water, the powers of the West, the Gabrielite angels, please. Uh, one card in clarity for the Piscean Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm watching this video, receiving this reading. Who are the angels that are waiting in the wings with the wings uh, offside, you know, just waiting to come in and help, but they have to be called in. They have to be invited. They have to be invoked. 
who can they best work with? Who's waiting to work with them in the angelic realms? This full past full moon in Capricorn uh, waning to new in Cancer. Truth and integrity. <laughs> there you go. Now, truth and integrity, just don't lump them all together right away, right? Truth is truth. There is what's true, and then there's truth. What's true is that my name is Mark Angelo Lyons. The truth is I'm an eternal genderless, ageless, raceless soul like every other soul that's ever been, right? So true can come and go. Truth never changes. So integrity. Think about a house. Uh, you want to buy a house, right? I'm thinking of moving to, well, I am going to eventually move to Saratoga to be closer to my parents. It's, that's, it's inevitable. It can be delayed but not prevented. Uh, so when I'm looking for houses, you know, I'm going to send somebody in to say, check the foundation. I want what? Structural integrity. No termites, no termites, no, 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 right? Uh, no sewer problems, right? I want a whole thing or an, like an egg that hasn't been cracked. It's in its full integrity. And it's just so funny that I was saying how important that truth and honesty is to me. Like, I don't care if somebody's wrong with what they're saying, right? If they're just like, um, sometimes people are like, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I can feel this has nothing to do with me. This is yours, but I'm going to listen, right? Uh, that's me being in my integrity, giving, letting people be heard. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I have to swallow what they say, right? All right, let's move on. Truth and integrity. This is, we're off and running, so we got one healing system, one oracle. Let's get some tarot on the table. These next two cards, one will be from Daughters of the Moon Tarot, because you got the addict in the eighth chakra. This is going to look at, let's see if I can do it in reverse, crown, third eye, throat, and heart. Usually I say heart, throat, third eye, and crown. I'm used to working from the bottom up, though I'm a top. Uh, so let's see what your... Uh, personal level, uh, the world behind your eyes, your feminine energy, your internal, your internal energy. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> yeah, nothing like a, no such thing as a shallow Piscean read with me, I guess. People are doing like uh, channels, I'm sure you know, like just for Virgos or just for Pisces. I think I would do both, but eh, I don't have time. I'm too busy off camera. Breathe. Oh, yeah. Okay, my goddesses of water and the sign of Pisces, Artemis. Diana, Circe, please, one card in clarity. For the Piscean Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, I'm watching this video, receiving this reading. What do they need to be aware of inside of themselves, right? Because particularly with truth and integrity, we're looking at third eye stuff. Seek only truth. The sacred truth of the third eye. Learn that from Carolyn Mace, Anatomy of the Spirit, Greatly Influenced Book. Uh, where it's very professional ways. Uh, just go check it out. You can preview it on Kindle, and you just need the free Kindle app now, which I love. So, uh, yeah, my goddesses, what do the Pisceans need to be aware of inside of themselves this full moon in Cap to New and Cancer? Yep. Now, look, this makes sense. This felt good. So, I'm, I'm going to tell you, this is the card of oppression. It's half of the devil card in this deck. It is about repressed energy and certainly can be about addictions, but it can also be feeling trapped by someone else's toxicity, right? And, you know, we're empaths. So we might be feeling their pain, we might be sympathizing with them, but regardless of whether they've taken any action or not, right? or done any healing or not, you may not be aware of that. But certainly there are fears inside of you that need to be addressed with the healing angels of truth. Because the chains that bind us are chains of smoke. <laughs> Chain smoking, right? They look real. They feel real. They may even feel like they're biting into us. But if we have the light, the truth, what happens when you bring a shadow into light? It disappears because shadow is the absence of light. Fear is the absence of love, right? So when you bring your fear up, you face your fears, but do it with an open, loving heart. And you're going to get really, really clear um, so that you can recognize and confront addictive behavior. Maybe even, your own. like I said, everybody's got them, right? Oh, well, like my friend who came uh, and and visited the who stayed who house sat and cat sat a little o a little OCD a twice Tony nominated set designer of course he's OCD right and a Scorpio right so I kept getting phone calls well where does this go where, where where's that where's that where that I'm like why are you doing that he's like 
because I want to. I'm like, it's because you have to. <laughs> you know, uh, OCD is no, n no joke, right? Uh, people toss that word around. Um, but there's always pain underneath it. So whether or not you are dealing with another addict, like I said, everybody's got their addiction, right? Eau de toilette, cologne, or perfume, three different levels of power with that. There's really something inside of yourself that is calling out for freedom, for liberation, to break chains of illusion and set all things to right, to reveal what has been hidden and bring the truth to light for the well-being of all and with harm to none, as I will it. So let it be done. Helpful little spell. Truth spells are kind of kick-ass. So what's going on on the outside? Uh, root, sacrum, solar plexus dynamic, right? From the outside looking in at you or you looking out from the inside at some aspect of the physical. I do feel like there's another person involved in this. So let's see what the gods have to say. The divine masculine energy, the external world. Please breathe. Hmm my gods of water and the sign of Pisces. Too many to name, please. Glaucus, <laughs> Poseidon, please, one card in clarity. For the Piscean Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, watching this video, receiving this reading, uh, what is it they need to be aware of outside of themselves dealing with this addict archetype, calling in the healing angels of truth and integrity, because once you're in that integrity, what do you need? Well, food, clothing, shelter, <laughs> water, you know, air, but but not those chains of pain. It's like Archangel Michael coming in with that sword and <laughs> slicing through illusions. So what you got? What you got for the Piscean Collective? This uh, past full moon in Capricorn waning to new. In Cancer, you got the Ace of Cups. I think you're dealing with somebody who has had codependent issues before. Everything's freaking retrograde, it seems. And so there is an Ace of Cups coming towards you. This is Aphrodite <laughs> holding a rather large cup. I'm having Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, <laughs> quote, flashback. I'm not going to go there. I love Aphrodite. What's not to love? She's the goddess of love. But as I said before, the lover archetype in its shadow can be incredibly dangerous and toxic. So I'm just wondering if this is a true love situation that has endured a great deal of struggle. Now, I'm about to do the soulmate contract reads, as I said. Like, no, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I've got everything set up to do them. I know what cards I'm using. They gave me the spread last night. I'm good to go. But there's a huge difference between twin flame and soulmate, right? And I'm not going into that here now. There will be links. <laughs> there, if you search my channel, you'll find them, particularly the live stuff I did in 2020. We talked a lot about it. Um, there's a huge opportunity for healing here, but it feels like somebody's coming in with this Ace of Cups. This has just become a romantic read. All right, I don't, uh, these usually aren't, uh, but, but if you've been dealing with somebody um, who, well, what's a control freak? Right? Addiction is all about control. No matter how control, uh, out of control an addict appears, they are trying to control the pain within themselves. Right? Like studying addiction is fascinating, and it's the the invisible ones that are hard to detect. Right? You can tell somebody's got certain addictions. I, I lived through the '80s, folks. Right? So I could see you being a little bit like I I. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I'm not into this. I am terrified you were going to do to me what you did uh, before, that maybe there is an addictive pattern here, a codependent thing going on here. Do you love me, want me, or do you just need me? What, who are you vampiring off today, right? I am not your blood bag. <laughs> Woo! All right. All right, all right, all right. The Ascended Masters going to be talking to us through the Healing Mantra deck by Matt Kahn. And really, I'm going to tell you now, in terms of Twin Flames and Soulmates, I hate the current definitions out there, and they are old, crusty, dusty, and driving people crazy. Incredible toxic. Those definitions are based on third and fourth dimensional reality. Fifth dimensional reality, the best definition that I have come across about Twin Flames and Soulmates is from Matt Kahn, his YouTube channel, uh, uh, Matt Kahn, All for Love. He's a Hay House author, but he's been doing YouTube longer than that. He's got a video called Soul Contracts, Twin Flames and Soulmates Redefined. Such a head turner. It was such a clarifier. And that's what I base my readings on. So if you want to check those out, you might want to read that, uh, watch that vid first. It's really good. 
All right, Ascended Masters, I'm going to call this a soul contract read at this point. Please take a nice deep breath. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wow, I'm channeling celebrities now. Please, my Ascended Masters, not that you're all not celebrities in your own way, shape, or form, depending on planet and dimension. One card in clarity. What is the perfect healing mantra for the Piscean Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? I'm watching this video. Receiving this reading, alchemizing the addict archetype within themselves, dealing with another one, which really feels more what this is about, with truth and integrity. Angels coming in to help them, but they must call for it. Dealing with perhaps their own addictive patterns, because like I said, we all have them. And if you're an empath, you're not just healing it for you. You're healing it for the unity, right? For all of us. With this Ace of Cups, this offer of love. And it does feel like with truth and integrity and the Ace of Cups, this is an offer of true love, which can absolutely challenge every fear, right? Of being abused, neglected, uh, codependent upon, or the good old fashioned fear of loss, right? From past stuff here. So there is some pain here that needs to be alchemized with that addict archetype for sure. But remember, we all, we all have those ego wounds to a greater or lesser extent. The wound of abuse, the wound of neglect, which is aggressive than passive, right? Codependence. And, uh, but even if you avoided all of those in some way, shape or form, where are you living? Uh, everybody has uh, the wounds of loss because everything changes in the game down here. So please, my Ascended Masters, what is the perfect healing mantra they need for this, this past full moon in Capricorn to new in Cancer? Inspiring others. I help others feel empowered by acknowledging their gifts. So it feels like this isn't just about thinking positively. This is about inspiring someone and certainly inspiring yourself. Now, I work alone <laughs> because I'm a, a, a loner, dotty, a rebel. Wear my Joan Jet t-shirt. People are like, why did you cut it that way? It's because it looks like I'm a thought bubble in her <laughs> Met her twice. I'm from Long Island. Of course I met her twice. Uh, 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 let's, let's look at this puppy inspiring others. Um, I help others feel empowered by acknowledging their gifts. I have a feeling this person coming back in has done some healing. Right? They're probably scared shirtless, let's hope, uh, uh, to come in and offer this cup. Because with the angel of truth and, and integrity, if there is somebody who has done you dirty because of some toxic stuff going on in their life in the past that had nothing to do with you, I could see you being on guard. So they got to come clean or not at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So inspiring others, you might have done, you might have inspired them and you have no idea. So I uh, help others feel empowered by acknowledging their gifts. When others are inspired, you allow them to take center stage and step into a greater acknowledgement of their personal power. Like how many people really are draining others just to get acknowledgement? But if you don't acknowledge yourself, right, that is a, a pit that will never be filled. You've got to give yourself that acknowledgement that only you can give. And then, of course, everybody throws in, right? Everybody starts noticing you, acknowledging you. When others are made to feel useful, they are likely to embrace more courageous decisions as their self-worth increases. So with this addict archetype, if it's not you, I mean, who doesn't have self-worth issues every now and again? that this could really be the thing, that they are afraid that they are not worthy, right? Of you, of, of your love, they want to come in. Like, whether they do or not depends on, uh, well, how how angry are you? <laughs> are you going to rip their heads off? Um, because if it ain't the truth, if they stole from you in some way, shape, or form, not just money, time, attention, uh, oh, Oh, liars, uh, promise breakers, right? Do not change the game on me. I am a witch. <laughs> the game will change faster on your side than it will on mine, unless I want it to change on my side, right? Uh, tricky, 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 tricky. Uh, imagine 
the perfection of not having to do everything by yourself and infusing others with a greater sense of purpose just by asking for their help. And I do feel like you guys are moving in that direction, like you've been covering a lot of bases by yourself. And this feels like life partner stuff. Um, it's not a matter of feeling weak or being incapable. Instead, it's about realizing the gift of inspiration you possess simply by inviting others to be part of your day. Look, if this person shows up knocking on your door, I have one person in particular that knows if they don't come correct, they're not even going to be able to get to my house. <laughs> uh, right? It's like, come clean or don't come at all. Come as a king or don't come at all. No pages, no knights. I think very much a, a king only. Um, then, you know, if they show up, how are you going to, are you going to react? Are you going to respond? That is really about you looking at the truth of how you really feel about this person, even if you're not sure. Because there's something about acknowledging, perhaps even in yourself, you have come so far, kid, right? You have, you have done such a good job. You've learned, we've all learned more than we realize. I love you. Keep going. I believe in you. That kind of self-speak, to say to yourself the words you always wanted to hear from somebody else is huge steps of empowerment, but done. Grain of sand, grain of sand, grain of sand, grain of sand, little by little by little. Um, this mantra is ideal for increasing intimacy. There we have it. Uh, in relationships, resolving martyrdom, you know, Pisces, we can be martyrs because we're feeling everybody's everything, right? Um, mystics, addicts, and martyrs, gypsies, tramps, and thieves, uh, resolving martyrdom and communicating your needs. And I feel like that's the key part of this. If this person comes in, you can say, look, I get, I get that what we've been through before it was hell. It was hell on earth. It's the devil. We were both in chains. I've been doing my best to break my chains, and it looks like you're breaking yours, so I want you to keep going. But I need you to be truthful to me. Because if you're compromising your integrity and honesty with me, this isn't going to work. And I'm not doing that to myself again, because I hate to say it this way, but I love the child, the innocence of my heart, more than anything you can give me. I'm good. You see what I'm saying? It's a very, very powerful read here, but that Ace of Cups, it feels like someone is really, really in love here. I don't think it's you. I think you're like, mm. <laughs> that face and that noise just say everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I don't know, am I in this reading? Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I don't see it until later anyway. So, let's ask the higher selves of all involved, right? Because, I mean, addicts don't last long around me. Vampires certainly don't last long around me. I pop them like ticks because that energy can only be stolen, right, when you give it freely. <laughs> With the power of Archangel Ariel in your soul, you know, it can blow them up. Pop the tick. How yourselves well involved? Let's find out. Breathe. as I call upon the higher selves of all involved in this obvious seven card draw soul contract to read for the Piscean Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading. Uh, the higher selves of all involved, not just the Pisces, please. What is a piece of information, inspiration, or insight? The party turner deck, as I like to call it, for this full moon, past in Capricorn, waxing to new in Cancer. Embrace your emotions. You take the time to feel what you're feeling. But understand this, and this took me decades. I knew it, but I didn't really know it until I got it viscerally. We are not our emotions. We may identify them, but we are the souls that were chosen to play these roles in these human lives that are experiencing emotions. We are not the element of water. We are the fishes that swim in it. How's that? Right? So yeah, we can feel very deeply. Uh, not many Pisces I know, unless they are really medicating their pain as addicts uh, in some way, shape, or form, really can't go to the bottom of the ocean. But every Pisces I've ever had a deeper connection with can swim absolutely to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. <laughs> Watch out, Arthur Curry <laughs> and Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings. Uh, or judge your emotions. This is saying that the fears you have may very well have been valid. But it feels like this person who's come in has done some healing here. And I'm going with the energy on this. And <coughs> that may inspire you. But for you, before you shark, go dolphin. 
right? Doesn't mean you have to promise anything or take them back or any of that. But you could say, you know, I, 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 I honor you for having the bravery, right? I acknowledge your bravery in this uh, for doing this, for the journey that you've been in, particularly if you haven't been in contact with them since before, you know, that thing that has gripped the world still less by less. Hey, I got my J&J &J in the arm. I'm waiting till next Saturday, so it'll be two weeks. Um, <coughs> can't wait to go food shopping because I live alone. I totally did Peapod. Why would, I, why would I drive and put my life at risk for just one person and my cats, right? Chewy. So, uh, you know, maybe you, and this person may have transformed great big huge. So we're using the new deck as the last card down. From Lucy Cavendish, I use her magical spell cards for the waxings. I'm going to be using her uh, magical, oh sorry, mystical Celtic blessing cards uh, to enrich and empower called Blessed Be. The first part of it explains the energy a little bit, and then the second part is an actual blessing. I love these. So let's see what the blessing is uh, from the gods of all pantheons. I know it says Celtic. We got a Greek goddess on the table. So this is uh, my gods and goddesses of all pantheons. So, uh, pan global, please take a nice deep breath. Ooh, we had a flipper. Oh, that was from the last read. Okay, breathe. Last card down as I call upon my collective gods and goddesses of all pantheons, nations, uh, uh, however, <laughs> genetic lineages, star tribes, star seed, all of that, any of that. What is the blessing you have for the Piscean Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading, doing the alchemy from dealing with someone, perhaps themselves, compromising integrity and honesty, allowing an addictive pattern to have authority over their inner spirit in the lead, in the shadow to the gold of uh, the light, uh, helping them recognize and confront addictive behavior. With the healing angels of truth and integrity, right? Standing their ground, being clear, but maybe not being so harsh as they address this uh, oppression within them, this psychic weight within them. As an ace of cups, a new offer of love comes in so that they can acknowledge uh, someone's gift. It's like, I'm really glad that you did that. It's, I'm glad you cultivated that courage and, you know, you came to me. I think that's great, but I st am still embracing my emotions. I'm still feeling all of this stuff. This is not going to be a yes or no uh, answer here. Uh, but darling, eventually I'll let you know if you should stay or you should go. Um, so please, what is their perfect blessing that you would give to them? Uh, my gods and goddesses of all pantheons to just bless this whole situation, this past full moon in Capricorn, waxing too new in Cancer. A blessing of the earth. Ooh, card number one. Ooh, round windows. Um, card number one, a blessing of the earth. Now, all of these cards are gorgeous, but the only thing written on them is the number and the name of the blessing. And I need the little <laughs> magnifying glass for the first part of it, because microscopic and italic. I love Blue Angel Publishing. This is Blue Angel Publishing, but... Let me see what I can see. Let's do this for real, shall we? See if we can feel this one. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Card number one, a blessing for the earth. A blessing for connection with the land. For strong bodies and bones. For blood that flows bright red with energy. For grain to harvest and good food upon your table. May you be blessed by the element of earth. May your body possess vigor and vitality, and may you feel the natural world alive within your own skin and bones. May your home grow up out of the earth and be solid upon it. And may the land upon which it rests offer its energy of solidity, strength, and endurance to you for many years to come. May the food upon your table overflow with why fire. Uh, the vital force of all things that truly have life force. And may you share this food with those 
who bring to you great joy in being alive in this form, this lifetime. May your eyes shine and see your legs walk straight upon the earth and your feet go softly upon the path you tread. May all the beauty and wildness and strength of nature find expression through your life and your connection to the earth. And may the great mother of us all, the land from which you were born and to whose womb you will return, offer you nourishment and strength all the days of this life. May the ancestors within the earth send forth their wisdom to you, guide you, comfort you, and encircle you with soul family in times of trouble. When times are good, remember them, for they have been with you always. May bounty and prosperity be yours, and abundance and overflowing of the gifts of the earth to you, the child of the earth who is so loved. May you feel the love of the earth. May you feel its protection, its nourishment, its comfort. And finally, when you see again within, when you, sorry, when you rest again within her arms, may she rebirth you gently into the next lifetime, ready to enjoy her pleasures more deeply. Blessed be. This feels like a blessing upon the stabilization of what was a previously unstable situation. Uh, you know, it would be great to see the element of water, right? The blessings of water, the first four cards are the first the blessings of the, of the four elements. But this really, really feels like whatever went on before here, there has been healing, there has been change, and it is something that is physical, tangible change. Now, I get... With this addict, you know, your own addictive patterns, as well as chances are the other person who's coming in with this cup, that there is a lot of fear of being tricked, of being, right, abused, neglected, codependent upon, or some aspect of loss. Maybe loss of your independence or loss of what you've built since you booted this person or they booted themselves, right? So truth and integrity is so important here. But here's what they're saying. It's like, you're going to need proof. You're going to need proof. Like, words are not going to be enough for this one because, honestly, it feels like you have everything you need. Um, from the outside looking in, this is definitely a, a cup coming towards you, but I'm drawn to this word, integrity. Like, you have the structural integrity in your life. It's almost like that nine of pentacles, right? She who has her own, regardless of gender, right? With the falcon in her hand. Put it, Falcon. <laughs> Blue Falcon. <laughs> hey, Blue Falcon. Uh, so to embrace your emotions, you feel this. Like, don't you dare rush because somebody's coming in. But also remember to kind of see what's there. See the truth. Like, when you see their gifts in, in play, and I just don't mean physical gifts, but I mean their light, their truth, the alchemy that they've done, call that puppy out as well. As my left contact lens is doing a little spinsy winsy, that's the divine feminine energy. So it's yeah, you may not be seeing this so clearly as a result of past stuff. Wow, contact lens. Yeah, you might need to see them a little bit differently as who they are now, not who they were, because that's definitely part of the devil card. Let me put it together. Please take a nice deep breath. Oh, my collective pantheons of the divine. Please may the Piscean collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading, be blessed with all that they need. This past full moon in Capricorn in the shadow work to the waning moon and to the new moon in Cancer, June into July 2021, that they may deal with the oppression that they're feeling inside of themselves. Whether they are wounds, whether they are their own addictive patterns, whether they are just a contact lens spinning in my eye annoying me. Uh, with this Ace of Cups coming in, they're going to get triggered. And it is a message, and it is a person showing up saying, per perhaps not just, I love you, but I am so sorry, right? And that takes a certain skill. Wow, that's really making my eye do that. Yeah, you're going to have to step back because now the eye is watering, water element of emotion. You might have some more tears to shed about this to clear your eyes and see 
this clearly either that or it's going to be a very tear, uh, tearful but good tearful reunion. So may they inspire uh, others and the other here, helping them feel empowered by acknowledging their gifts, by first embracing their emotions, because they're not to push down their feelings or judge their emotions, but allow them to flow through them. And when they give themselves the love that only they can give themselves in truth and integrity, then those w emotions that flow and given that love turn into holy water, purifying them, alchemizing uh, them and probably everyone else involved here slowly but surely to helping them recognize and confront addictive behavior within this relationship as they receive the blessing of earth from their ancestors, from their gods, from their higher powers, giving them that connection to the land, that groundedness, that fertility, that abundance, that prosperity, that health, and certainly that ability to bring into physical form something that is healthy and that will grow for their well-being and for the well-being of all. I'm going to tell you this. Wait, hold on. So mode it be. And so it is. I'm going to tell you, this person has been crying. Uh, they're not used to showing their emotions. You are. And that was part of the problem, and they've been repressing it. But I'm telling you, they're crying now because, whoo, this eye is about to turn red. I don't know if something flew in it or what's going on there, but that's what you call a uh, visceral, intuitive response. Hold on. I can do this. Oopsie, out you go. Boop, been doing this. I've had contact lenses since I'm 12. I'm 52. I know I don't look at things, but now I want to cover this eye. So, hey, you want to go further with this? By all means, book me. Uh, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, any of my DMs will get you that. Uh, uh, and certainly read my book, Words of Grace, because I have a feeling the angels <laughs> of truth and integrity are going to show you something that might be very painful to see, but one that will set you free. Perhaps your projections onto this person need to shift because they are not who they used to be, and by the way, neither are you. So, wish you all the very best in this very blessed of this left eye blinding experience for me, <laughs> my beloved fishy families. <laughs> mer, mer, I can't do it. Because I've got a contact lens in my hand. Ah, saline. Ah, salt water. Yeah. <laughs> Farewell. And blessed, blessed be.